Eric Novak here with another episode of ARWP, the All Real Wrestling Podcast. And today we are interviewing Francesco Akira from AJPW. And before we get to that interview, I just want everyone to take a moment to check out Three Falls Brand. That's why I got this awesome Sandman Kendall Up Your Ass shirt. I love their merch. It's all rock and wrestling inspired. Go check them out. All their information is in the bio below. Their website, their merch, social media accounts. Go follow them. They have the coolest merch. They got an awesome Stone Cold shirt coming out. They have La Paca, Rey Mysterio. Go look at all their stuff. You're going to love it. And I'll see you guys then in the interview. He is Francisco Akira. Hey, what's up, everyone? Nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. <laughs> of course, we're such big fans of yours. You know, you are the future of what Japan offers in wrestling. And we just want to hear about how it all started. So tell me why someone in Italy, you know, someone so far away became a pro wrestler. So I was like a fan when I was young and I did many other sports, but I didn't really like it like football, swimming, or kickboxing but wasn't for me then i asked to my mom to find me like a wrestling school and luckily there was a wrestling school near my house so i went there and that like from first training it was soon love i literally soon like five years ago six years ago like italy isn't popular but my school wasn't bad like we didn't have the ring just mat but it was good that's amazing so tell me tell me who made you fall in love with wrestling what were some names that you were watching and that that's who you like really enjoyed and wanted to, to train with like like, fav- like a favorite wrestler yes that i watched when i was young. Ah. so definitely my favorite wrestler is the rock i always being a fascinating by him, like his charisma, his ring skills, his like capacity to bring the show, to bring entertainment. Mm-hmm. So I really always love him or Rey Mysterio. Like all Italian kids love Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Every everyone loves Rey Mysterio and yeah, these are two of the names that brought me into the discipline. Awesome. That's really cool. But again, you know, where you are now from wrestling in Italy is such an amazing story. So that's the first thing I want to address. How did you get this deal with AJPW from all the way in Italy? Uh, So because when I was back in Italy in 2018, like one month before I, uh, sorry, when I was in Italy back in 2018, I met Tajiri. Mm-hmm. And but one month before, I nearly bro- broke my ankle playing basketball. So I missed a, a really, really important match with a big, big superstar. And then uh, a month later, I'm, I met Tajiri, Tajiri in this in this show in Italy, and he saw me in this scramble six man match, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> all fast speedy match and he liked my work so he asked me if I want to go to Japan and after I came the first time two months then they asked me to come back other three months and now this is my third tour and I'm here since 1st of January very long time now that's amazing you know that's a revolutionary story that so many people would love just a boy from Italy who wrestled, you know, in this house shows, is now wrestling in Japan. And that's so big on your resume, too, to have wrestling in Japan. Because it's, again, very different than anything here. It's a lot harder because there's not that much storyline other than wrestling. Oh, yeah. So tell me about that. Because when I first watched, you know, Japan wrestling, I was like, wait, this is, this is wrestling? Because this made our wrestling look so bad. Because what you guys do is so much classier, so much more uh, efficient. So when you found out Japan Wrestling is basically all wrestling, no storylines, no The Rock promos, how did you feel? (laughs) So, I like both. Like, I think WWE now is too much entertainment. Like, Mm -hmm. Like, 
too much staged, like no more self liberty, like The Rock when he was very good because he was The Rock, not because he was like too many producer mm-hmm. behind. So I now prefer Japan wrestling because it's more free and not too much. Like, okay, do this, do that, do 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 many stuff. So, but yeah, I like both. I like when good story in a good wrestling match. If there's a good story, I really like it. That's amazing. And uh, something I want to address because I don't know how it is for us. You know, we have all these companies like Impact, Ring of Honor, New WWE, AEW, and there's always like the biggest one to the lot to the smallest one. What's the biggest company in Japan, like in your dreams, or in your opinion? I think, of course, New Japan is biggest one. Like New Japan is top over everyone because mm-hmm. they have a really, they really expanded well, like over global. So they have like a lot of overseas fans too, and a lot of Japanese fans. All right. So, yeah. But, so basically, oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So basically, if I had to say where do you want to uh, to like be next, would you say you want to be at the biggest company in Japan, New Japan? Maybe one day, like I want to get a lot better before get to maybe there. But yeah, I I really love old Japan. All right. But New, New Japan is like the biggest where you can become the best and like be seen by m- more people. And like become the best pro wrestler that you can be. All right, and you know I heard that AJPW and this is actually really recently after we spoke, I heard that AJPW and New Japan Pro Wrestling are having a big anniversary show coming up. Did you hear about that? Uh, they they are doing the Giant Baba anniversary show together. Mm-hmm. Like some New Japan wrestler, some old Japan wrestler. So you're doing the anniversary of the death of Giant Baba. So they're doing together in February. Are you going to participate in it or no? I still don't know. I still don't know if I will be here now. Mm-hmm. Like it's been a long time now, more than nearly one year. Yeah, well, it's great that, you know, you were working during COVID, you know, that, that you uh, had yeah, yeah, yeah. a job, That's, you know. That's really We good. are the only country doing that. With people, actually people. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Be honest. From from someone's perspective that didn't have fans at one point and now have fans again, how does it feel? (laughs) It feels good, man. Like, even if they are not allowed to scream, to to shout, Mm -hmm. they are, like, it's good because finally you can interact, you can see fans and, like, it's different. Wrestling is wrestling and fans together, like, one on one only is not good like only fans or only wrestling is not good Mm -hmm, of course so you know that's great that's great and like you said you know you may not be here after a few months because you were you know signed for how many how many weeks they need you how many months they need you what's the plan what's the next plan for you to do next where do you want to see or where do you want to accomplish what's the next plan so my plan was to go to America by the end of this year, mm-hmm. but now it's not possible, <laughs> of, course. of course. But I want to travel more, like more uh, go outside, maybe Mexico, America. I never been to America or Mexico, so I want to try to learn more and get better and better and better. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what I want to do. But I don't know how long will be coronavirus. I hope like not too much. Mm-hmm. But my plan is travel, not stay forever in japan well you know that's perfect because you know looking at your work and again like i said having a resume like ajpw people like ring of honor people like impact would love to have you on there you know will osprey before he was in new japan pro wrestling he was for ring of honor same for jay white before jay white was switchblade he was at ring of honor and i think you would shine in ring of honor i think ring of honor is like one of the biggest promotion in America, like one of the biggest of history, reach yeah. of history. All of the top wrestlers have been to Ring of Honor. Yeah, and, and with the wrestling roster they have now with Matt Taven, Adam Brooks, you know, right. Flip Gordon, you would shine with those guys. You would have amazing matches. So so that's definitely, you know, one thing to look at. And 
definitely going to be like, it's very hard for some people. I don't think it's going to be that hard for you to get your foot in that door. If you do shows, trust me, your name will get out there and, and you'll be quick in that roster. Then we had names like Alex Zane, Blake Christian, and Benjamin Carter. I don't know if you heard of those guys. Yeah, they, they're, no one knew about them before like a few months ago. And now they're like three of the yeah, biggest yeah. people. There's a lot of things. All right, so that's good. It's good to see where you're, where you know, where you're thinking. We know recently I was watching it. I was hoping you had a tag match, a really big tag match. It didn't work out, but next time, next time, tell me about how that was, because that was probably like the first big match coming back. Ah uh, yeah, like I the challenge for the Asia, the Asia titles. Like he was good because after a long time of training, like we train every day here two times or three times a day so it feels good like to training and and to do this important match and we didn't get the win but I was happy with it like I'm still young still a lot to learn and I think it's cool because I'm the first Italian to challenge for it <laughs> I think I don't I'm not sure if Bruno San Martino challenged mm -hmm. but like in a long time I'm the first one <laughs> so it's it's good. It's bring it's bring Italy outside from the dark of wrestling. Mm -hmm. So it's cool for me. It's amazing. And tell me, you know, what else would you want to accomplish in AJPW? What what where what do you want to do in the next two years? If you're there and and they keep getting you on, what would you want to eventually do? So what I would like to do is like, of course, getting better. But uh, I really like the Asia Challenge, Asia Tag Titles, mm -hmm. because they're the oldest title in Japan, like the most longest title. So like a lot of guys hold this title, like Inoki, Inoki-san, Baba, or Stan, many people hold it. So I really, really want the Asia Challenge, the Asia Titles, or mm -hmm. Junior Title, of course. So that's my goal. At the end of the year, become at the end of the two years or three years, become the first Italian All Japan champion. Awesome, yeah. And and I'm again with looking at what you're doing now. That that shouldn't be too hard. And your time will definitely come, and, and it'll be it'll be a good one. It'll be a good run. You know, uh, someone that represents Italy very well. And the only reason why I bring him up is because there's not that many wrestlers, and I've had the pleasure of interviewing him. D3 represents Rome, Italy very uh -huh. well on AEW. Yeah. Have, AEW. You, mm -hmm. have you been watching AEW's product? Are, are you, do you like AEW? Uh, uh, not too much, like uh, not, not every day, not every show. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like AEW product because it's different from, from WWE. They're mm -hmm. doing something different, like more, not indie, but more like... How can I say? Like you, you know, like more for wrestling fan, for real wrestling fan. Mm -hmm. Indie, like they have still big guys like Chris Jericho or Jack Swagger, and yeah, I like it. And he brought more like he went to they went to te to television, like they are live on television every Wednesday mm -hmm. or every Thursday. I don't remember. So. He, he bring more light on pro wrestling, like more people can watch it, more people can become new fans. So yeah. that's good. Yeah. And more place to work. Of course, Both yeah. Fans. That's another, there's just another place to watch, another place to learn from. And, you know, they, they're doing better when it comes to segments than WWE. You know, they're doing, it's like when you have WWE as the biggest company, you're, you're happy AW came because they're cleaning it up a lot more than what it was. So let's yeah. talk about more about you. Let's talk about, you know, your first match. I would love to know how, how your first match went and if you remember your first match, even in wrestling. My first first match mm -hmm. or first match in Japan? First, or both. I would love to hear both stories. So first match in Italy was like um, back in 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I was like doing uh, this gimmick with a mask just for two matches I did like with a big mask that moved all on my, all on my face because it was too big <laughs> so during my match I couldn't see but it was like it was good like not good it was probably a shit match <laughs> but it was good experience because after a long time training 
I finally did my debut in Italy in front of my family. So I really, really enjoyed it. Then the first match in Japan was at Corrigan Hall, you know? Of course, Co of Corrigan. course, Corrigan yeah. Hall, of course. Corrigan and so it was right, really, really magical because so many history, so many wrestlers, and I really, really liked there. Mm -hmm. So it was like very, very nervous because it was my first time on like that big stage. Mm -hmm. So, but it was good, like easy match, but like very emotional for me. Of course. So tell me, okay, so let's start with the first one. You wore a mask. Was that because you had to hide your age? Did they say you're too young, so I have to put you in a mask? Uh, yeah, and because I was a little bit shy. I don't oh, know why. Oh, you're shy. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it's really, I wasn't. It's really, really cool. And this is why we love doing interviews. It's really cool to hear that because when I see you now, when I watch you wrestle now with your whole purple and gold or red and gold gear, it looks like you are so confident in yourself and that you I, go there. And it's amazing. Now, now yeah. <laughs> I, for, but I think everyone is like shy at the beginning because it's sport very different from others. Like very, it's like entertainment and athleticism and like sports conditioning. So you need to be like, like need to can work with people with mm -hmm. fans in, in a normal sports like basketball or football you just play you don't care about fans like you don't play for fans you play for winning of course it's different all right well i know you had so many amazing matches with that are historic too you know you had matches that you can't have again anymore that's how big they were tell me a few matches that people in the uh, who are listening who don't know who you are should watch should enjoy should so, see my one of my favorite match that i did in japan so far and i like it it was like the junior match in back in february junior title match against dragon gate yokosuka susumu like it was i really like it because i like dragon gate and was like different from whole Japan and we did this match in Cork and all, sold out Cork and all and people enjoyed it. So people chanting my name and it was, was, was very cool. Or the match with Tajiri, I did like three matches or four <laughs> matches with Tajiri and every time he's learning because he's, he's a legend, he's really, really good wrestler and very smart for business, very smart for pro wrestling and the business. So probably the one with Yokosuka Susumu back in February and then the Asia Challenge with Kento, Kento Mihara against Yan Yankee to Kenji, Kanji mm -hmm. back in April. Amazing. Amazing. And, you know, I would love to know what kind of wrestlers would you want to face in the future, you know, from anywhere, maybe from any company, or just a few names that you would love to get in the ring with? So I would love to wrestle like dream, dream, dream match, but probably will never happen is like The Rock. But that's a little bit too high. No, not too high because I, I cannot go to WWE, but because he's retired now and mm -hmm. probably... Yeah. And, and a few names that I want to wrestle are like Will Osprey for sure, is one of my favorite wrestlers. And, like a good friend too, but he is very good, good wrestler, one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. Kenny Omega, I would love, love, love to wrestle him. Kento Miyara too, I think he's the best in all Japan, really. He's like one of the best in all Japan. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I would love Iromu Takashi mm -hmm. because I like his gimmick. He's very crazy guy and I love that, love that character. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I would love to see all those matches. And you brought up a Osprey, and I wanna, I wanna just talk about him for a little bit because when I first saw you, it's really funny. I'm mistaken you for him. I was is that is that Will Osprey is like a really really young age because you had the the jacket, the purple and gold jacket that you were wearing, and it looked very very similar to stuff that like he busted out, you know, when he first made it to Chaos in New Japan. So I just love the fact that 
you already looked so big. You already looked like money. People already had attention. Like, wow, this guy's got gear that makes him look like he's a main event star. So, you know, that's always really, really cool. And yeah, but need to reach the point of Osprey on gear. Osprey gear are very, very good. <laughs> Well, what's, well, if I had to ask, if you had to create a, a new gear coming up, because wrestlers always have new gear, what would be the next gear for you? Have you ever designed anything or thought of anything? I have something coming up, like a new, but it's secret. Okay. So, <laughs> I have something coming up. Okay, well, I can't, when I, when I see it, I'll definitely, definitely talk about it, because it's definitely something Thank that you very much. Me. Hope you like it. <laughs> I love gear, and so far I've loved all your gear. My favorite one was the red and gold one, if you know which one I'm talking about. The one with the actual yeah, tights. Yeah, yeah that, one, that one's my... Uh, wh why did you switch from tights to shorts? Is it is it any reason? Because I need to get a bigger leg. <laughs> like, tights are good on bigger legs. Mm -hmm. And my legs still a little bit small, need more weight on. Then mm -hmm. later I will wear it, like uh, when I reach like 85 or more mm -hmm. i will wear it for sure all right so yeah i bought up a lot of speed because right now you know the future of new japan is very different you know you have the empire you have chaos so if you do ever make it to new japan i know you've been watching the company for a while i know you i know you think very highly of it where would you want to go what fraction would you want to join if you even want to join a fraction uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I don't know I, I would like to make my own faction <laughs> or like because now fun, uh, faction are uh, like just faction like not really like only bullet club is like a family mm -hmm. but I think other faction are like just faction just people inside so I like what they're doing with Tanashi or Ibushi that they keep out from from faction, right? Yeah. They're to any faction, so I like them. So you you would go in there alone. You would want to go in there by yourself. <laughs> like maybe in beginning, join some some faction. Then later, when you <laughs> when people start to know you better, then like Osprey did, like when he came in came into chaos, in a few years, then he created his own one now. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's a good thing. That's amazing. All right. And, you know, one of my favorite questions is, you know, what company, if you ever came to the U.S., where would you want to start? There's so much potential with Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, NWA. We have so many. Not all of them are bigger than the other. But where would you want to start your journey in U.S. of wrestling? Uh, the, yeah, there's so many big company now, but I really like uh, AEW, like mm -hmm. AEW or New Japan. Like these are the two biggest one. Like AEW, yes. And sometimes I would like to work for Ring of Honor too. I really like history of wrestling. Awesome. There's a lot of history there. Awesome. And tell me. So we talked about a lot of your matches. Tell me, you know, the match that you think is your favorite, not your favorite, it's so hard to say that, just the match that you think meant the most to you. What match can you always look back at and it just, that one that like is at the top of every, everything? I think like the match, the first title match that I had in Japan, like the real, my first real big match back in October of last year with Tajiri in Korgan Hall. That was very special because he's the guy that brought me to Japan. He's the guy that believed in me, so it was very special to meet him. And like, do a good match. I think was a good match with him. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I think that one is most special in my art. Amazing. All right, that's awesome to hear. And you know, tell tell us one last thing before we we cut it short. Tell us, you know what you plan for us to, to do next to support you. How can we support you in any way? Keep following me on my social media and like keep supporting All Japan. Like we are, All Japan is very, very good pro wrestling. Like Japan is very good 
pro wrestling. So keep supporting us and keep following us. That's the only thing. No money or like easy free stuff. Just support us. You don't, you don't want us to buy T-shirts, merch. You don't have. We, I we don't have a website. <laughs> But like just a follow on social media, just a share, it's small things, but help people to grow. All right. So if okay. it's possible, I would like. Of course, of course. I'll put all your social media in the bio below. But uh, if you remember, can you say it to the people who are listening? Ah, yes, please. Francesco Akira, all on Instagram, uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter, of course. That's the only free social media. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that interview. I loved talking to Francisco Acura. And if you didn't know who he was and you didn't know how to find him, how to watch his stuff, all of that is in the bio below. Go give him a follow. Go shoot him a tweet. He'd appreciate it. If you don't know who I was, and this was the first video you clicked on, it's your luck. All my information is in the bio below as well. Go give me a follow. Go give me a tweet. I would appreciate it. And if you're new, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends because we are just getting started with these awesome interviews. We have so many that are coming out that I can't even keep track anymore. And right before you go, remember to check out Three Falls Grand with their rock and wrestling inspired merch. I love my Sendo Kendo Piac shirt, and I know you guys are gonna love their merchandise. They have La Pata, Red Mysterio, Stone Cold. It's awesome. Go check them out, and I'll see you guys next time for another awesome interview.